Hi there Wargamers, Dan, Definitely Kane here bringing you another unboxing. Uh, this time it's the Kickstarter exclusive Walking Dead uh, from Magic Games or like War thingy. Um, this is just the, the core set I believe so um, a quick crack it open. And, well, I'll tell you what, let's have a look at the this nice art, nice uh, graphic artwork all around the side. There's Michonne there, uh, ready to uh, kill some zombies or fools. Ooh, looks like Negan. And is that Rick with his hand missing or something? I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I'm up to date with the uh, TV show, guys. We're not the comic, so um, this is going to be a bit of a mystery tour for me as well. So, <coughs> as you can probably put, figure out why. Right. So we've got the nice plastic off. And, so look. Look at that, round full of miniatures already, and we're upside down. Let's do let's turn that the right way around. So, how should we do this? There's a lot of guys. I'll tell you what, we'll have a look at the um, the badge. We'll have a look at the badge. It's a nice little uh, touch there. Nice little uh, token to pass between the for the initiative, back and forth. Oh, we can forget the uh, the bag of guns. Not the man himself, with the seal. Right, and I think the easiest way is to probably bring this to the camera. There we go. So we've got Carl, his dad, some zombies and a guy with a knife, more zombies. Who's that Dale? No, this isn't going to work, is it? Oh, we've got Sean. Tell you what. Let's do this a sensible way done. There we go. That's a better idea. Sorry, guys, we'll start again. So, there we go. Lovely little pieces, aren't they? Oh, what the hell. So, let's get them cracked out, I suppose, and have a real fire not to you know, you want to see, you don't want to see the front here. Right then, so, let's zoom in. There's Carl. You know, not bugger himself. We lucky hat. Some bald dude pointed. And I think that's the is that the cartoon Rick. Guy with a baseball bat that's not Negan. Ooh, long haired zombie. It's very well uh, well dressed for a zombie though. Some last with a knife. Excuse me, that's more like it. Bit of a less well dressed zombie. Looks like someone went out for a party. Don't know what's going on with that mouth, but looks a bit weird to me. There we go. Good old broken bones and whatnot. An armless zombie. Don't know what kind of gun that's supposed to be, but is it a shotgun or something? Bit on the weird side. 
There's that Dale with his uh, scoped rifle. Someone cacking themselves. Ah, oh, that Popeye. The obligatory bow hawk guy, why not? Then I'm a zombess. Oh no, sorry. Oh, oh. That's a big full power, isn't it? They're not zombies, they're walkers. Ah, I'm a shod. It's a nice little poser, I like that. Free strike. Yeah, that's Abraham. Another walker. Is that the, that's supposed to be the Ronnie one. Yeah. Negan. What else he got in his hand? Is it a grenade? I think it might be a grenade. Rather plumpish guy with a rather ineffectual knife, probably. A shifty guy with a gun. A walker. Now, if it has no legs, it's still a walker. No, is that supposed to be Herschel? Loads of zombies, eh? Oh, I've done it again. Walkers, walkers. Ooh, someone looks a bit scared there. Is that uh, the little girl that gets, uh, gets eaten? Uh, she Walker. Yeah, and of our arm, this one. Oop, focus, there we go. And what are you? Well, it looks like we've got another OAP zombie. So, what else have we got in the box? <coughs> Let's zoom back out of it for a second, guys. Oop, that's wrong way. So, a quick look at the contents. We've got a nice little uh, dice bag if you want, if that uh, takes your fancy. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using that myself, but well, it's nice it's there. Oh, that's helpful. Got plastic over there. Right, let's have a look at these plastic cars. <coughs> oh, they're not terrible. Not brilliant either, but what do you expect for a little board game type thing? Really nice and hollow. That would send some people crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's have a look at the pickup truck one. Well, it's better than cardboard, isn't it, I suppose, eh? So it's nice to scale though. So let's have a look at these barricades. Them, uh, nice pieces these are. I'm really quite liking these. Look at these things. More tyres. A little bit of supplies there, I think. Some more supplies. So lots of interesting bits here. You can make a nice bit of terrain out of. More supplies. 
Another little fence part. Some boxes behind it. That looks like the same tyre wall probably. Yes. Don't mind the bit repeated bit. Looks like someone's bag. And again. Same bit of fence again. Suitcase. And, this, and I'll show you guys as well, so should I really? And some more stuff. Sort of there. Well, that's a big hunk of dice. There's me worried I might actually need to buy more dice, and actually, um, looks like you've got plenty. Ah, I've got some more models. Extra walkers. Now they look to me like um, all the same ones we've had before, I think. Yeah. I'll bring them up just in case, eh? Ah, harmless. I'm thinking they should be playing Thriller in the background. Get them all dancing. There we go. <coughs> so, we'll have a quick look at the uh, at the dice out of the bag. Oh, cellophane in the case of me, and they might go in the bag actually. <clears throat> I like it, night two of everything at least. Lots of red dice, whatever the uh, red dice are used for. And these, see what these. Oh, oh dear, whatever that means. A real nice big, big chunky handful of dice. Something I like to see in board games. It's rather than you know having to, having to share past dice back and forth, I have enough for everyone. Yep, we have some kind of uh, a spinner for some reason. I'm sure there's a random direction, perhaps, maybe. And we've got two three decks of cards of different sizes. So these look like probably a bit of character cards. So let's get these cracked out and have a flick through the. Uh, See if we can see some famous faces. Alright then, so let's zoom in, let's hope. So we've got Rick, Rick Grimes, Ooh, Carl Grimes, Derek, Patrick, Sandra, Liam, or oh, Dale, there we go. Jim, Alan, Donna, oh yeah, Patrick, Sandra, Shane, oh dear, Reggie, Laurie, Craig, hang on, well, that's Carl twice, Andrea, Amy, Carol, Sophia, Derek, and uh, Negan. Wow, 70 points. Abraham, and Michonne. There we go. That's the character cards. Some duplicate ones in there for some reason. I'm sure they're probably just different versions from when they're less or more threatening. So, what we've got here, got some. Ooh. More walking event cards, some of the extra. So we've got a load of event cards, nice little uh, bit of artwork on the back of the cards there. And uh, I'm sure this will make more uh, 
<coughs> excuse me, more sense with the join the game. Yeah, that's a interesting. That's a different card or something for you. Yeah, so that's event cards. And we've got a big stack of equipment. Right then, so let's have a quick zoom. There we go. So we've got, go through these. We've got, <coughs> oh, excuse me, 8 millimeters, 22. Baseball bat, kitchen knife, lucky hat, 38, little bandages, hatchet, our reloads, which looks like something useful, booby trap, oh, these are supplies as well, ah, football pads, lurker, oh dear, oh wow, 8mm pistol, wrench, ammo dump, oh that's good, police jacket, Bandages. Oh, sawn off shotgun. Oh, it's not even a bloody shot, is it, guys? <laughs> Sorry. Beds. Oh, a god shotgun. Or is it 600? I don't know. Crossbow. That's Daryl's favourite weapon. Even though it's not. Daryl doesn't exist for this game, unfortunately. So that's the. Uh, some of the equipment cards. Alright guys, so that's been the Walking Dead All Out War start set. Just make sure it's nothing underneath there. Oh, hang on. There's more! Oh! That's, that was almost a disaster. Because <coughs> hiding at the bottom is all the card components. I thought there was something uh, missing here. There's, there's no, actually no rule book. That was silly. So, what else have we got here? Got a load of card and some paper. So let's have a butch is what we got. Bring the uh, the mat in a second. It's got a nice quick start guide. Um, so in the same fashion as uh, oh, what was it? Dungeon Saga. Yes, that's the one. So we got nice rule book there with nice cover on the on the front. Of the front we got days gone by an expansion set. Looks like nice. So let's have a look at the cards first before we flip through the uh, thing. So it looks like we've got some woods, so let's just give a quick zoom out. Some tents, uh, looks like some, some kind of fire marker. Probably these are probably height indicators probably. Some more wooded areas, campfires and more tents. And some other markers of some kind. Let's have a look at how easy these to punch out. Oh, really nice. Nice card stock is well I say as usual, I've never actually had a game from like, like this from Mantic, so uh, it's all all new. Got a nice range ruler for those of us who can't afford a tape measure. And uh, some more card scene. I mean, one would assume this is for the actual base game for those people who don't get the plastic components. So we've got the a fret guide. Oh that's what the spinner's for. Silly me. And we've got like a camper van, so we can have Dale on top of his camper van with his rifle. Until he gets eaten. So we've got a kill zone template, more uh, barricades and stuff like that. Right then, let's have a quick flick through the uh, readers first. Thing. So we've got nice thing of uh, of uh, batch of some guys to go through, teaching how to play. It's nice and low. Laid out, obviously it's uh, anyone's guess if that's any good or not. So a quick flick through the rule book. Not too thick, which is nice. Some nice pictures and miniatures and some boards. Bit of art weather. That's really nice. 
and of course we've got uh, two two uh, game marks to, to use. Oh, tell you what, guys, I'm going to take the camera off the uh, tripod for this one. Right then, so so what? we've got a collect like oh, a collector's guide. Let's zoom out. That's in done. On the back of your uh, thingy. So that's so what. So we've got like uh, the end, end of a. Oh, that's my gut. You don't want to see that. Uh, end of the road type area, and like a start of a forested area. So that's one of them. Let's see if we can do the other one uh, one handed. I think we've all seen this. Oh, it's only one side of this one. Nothing special on the back of this one. There we go. That's a nice bit of a road with some pavement. Don't know if I'll be using these myself, but still. Oh, I think the, the feature looks like they actually go together, which is a nice, which is a nice uh, touch. Would have not been a good idea if I'd cleared, it, cleared some room out for this bit earlier, but. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, that's nice. It actually fit together nicely. So they can be used, put together if you want to play a bigger game. So guys, that really this time has been The Walking Dead or like War. Um, really nice little touch. Um, I'm, I'm quite quite excited to play some games. Okay guys, if you like what you've seen, hit the like button. That would be really helpful. If you haven't subscribed already uh, and you want to see more things like this, hit the subscribe button. You'll, you will do. Okay guys, this has been Dan, uh, Definitely Kane, bring us to The Walking Dead. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.